One of the first things we can do to further clean up our internal setup activities is to analyze and implement parallel operations. The word sequential is defined in one way as following. In the case of your setup, steps are often performed sequentially or in a sequence, one following another. When this occurs, it requires us to wait until the previous step is complete before moving on to the next step. Looking at our indie example again, we see this sequential activity as the pit team works on the front right tire, first banging profusely to remove the tire, then walking to pick the tire up and finally placing the tire back on while again banging to tighten the tire. Parallel operations, on the other hand, can do activities in parallel or at the same time as others. For example, in the 2013 Melbourne pit stop, we see a pit team member run up with a tire in hand. We also see an individual at a specific marking point ready to work on the tire to his right, another individual. As the wheel man gets the tire off, the individual to the right takes the tire and the individual to the left places the new tire on while the wheel man prepares to tighten the tire. As you can see, parallel operations divide the setup tasks between more than one person and oftentimes activities that are parallel processed are performed in unison with one another. This can help reduce an internal setup to below the one minute mark. One very important tool that is used when operations are converted from sequential to parallel is a procedural chart or a process chart. A procedural chart can be a simple template that allows you to document the sequence of tasks that need to occur at a very granular level. It also tracks the time of each step in the setup, the cumulative time at each phase, and should show whether the activity was internal or external. In the template, there is also a notes column where you can jot down your observations. To the right of the notes are many small boxes. These boxes represent the time of each step and whether the activity is internal or external. Each of these steps also show whether an activity can be performed in parallel or must be performed sequentially. The template is available in the resource section of the course for download. Using a procedural chart not only gives you a living document to see the setup and make improvements, but it also helps train employees and keep the changeover safe and consistent. When combined with visuals such as lights and other sensory devices like sounds, this can trigger the completion of one step and the beginning of another. As you see, an opportunity to improve, you should update and standardize the chart. This will give you a living document that people can look to and discover more improvements as revelation occurs. Keep in mind that this concept of parallel processing can occur in many portions of your process. So, be sure to look for opportunities where you can make the most of the resources you have. Now let's move on to some more powerful internal setup improvements.